Hey guys, uh, today we'll understand like list. So as we know, like we are having order list and an order list in HTML. So there are some tag like OL, UL, and then we use some LI tag inside that, right? So let us understand how to give a style to list list, okay? By using CSS cascading a style sheet. So we'll see here in details. So the CSS list properties allows you to set a different list item markers for other list, uh, set different list item markers for, I can say here for an order list, right? And we can also have some kind of uh, image. So we can set image as a list item marker in a street of like, you can see this, we are having this circle, right? So here is the circle, here is the circle, right? In a set of this circle, we can have a square, we can have a disk, right? And we can have an image also. So let us understand how to format it, how to give a style for this. In HTML, there are two types of lists. Unordered list, the list items are marked with bullets. Order list, the list items are marked with numbers or letters, A, B, C, D, or one, two, three some Roman and all is there. So with CSS, list can be styled further and images can be used as a list item marker, okay? Now, the type of list item marker is fired with the list style item, okay, list style type property is there. So you can see here, we are having list style type, right? So you can notice this. We are setting circle, square, upper Roman, lower alphabet, right? So all we can apply here with order list and unorder list, right? We are having different class A and B. It's up to you. We can give that. Let us understand how it works, okay? Now you can notice here, here I'm getting some kind of bullet, right? So uh, I can say it is a circle, disk, square and all, right? Some numbers, alphabets, all it is coming here. How we can do this? You can see here, I have all here. So view source, let us understand this code here. So it is just list style type, which you set the property like disk, circle, square, none. So we'll not have uh, any bullets. You can check here. I'm not using any bullets here, right? So decimal leading zero, we can get one, two, three, lower Roman or upper Roman. Similarly, you can use all this style here, right? So you notice here, I'm using class A, class B, as I mentioned this much class here, right? Okay, so you, you understood this, how to, so there's a, actually properties what, a list style type that you have to use and you can pass these values, right? Okay. So some of the property values are for unordered list is what? None, no marker. Disk, you can use circle without feeling right. Uh, circle, it is a, the marker circle, a square, you can use a square here. Armenian, the marker is traditional Armenian numbering. A decimal, it's a number. So if you say decimal leading zero, it will be zero one zero two zero three like that, right? So you can use this kind of values with the property. There are some other order list we are having lower latin lower roman upper alphabet right so we can use all this as a bullet here now an image as a list item marker so we can have a image here now you can notice here for that you have to say we have earlier earlier use list style type right now this time we are saying url I'm giving the image here. So 
to swipe an image as a list item marker you have to use a list style image not list style type right now you can see this example here that you can notice this we are getting one image as a list here right as a marker so how we can get it you can see this one now right click say view oh, sorry view source now you are finding here that the list style what we are giving it's a sort and kind of things square and url if this image is not available, use a square. Otherwise, use this image, lamp.gif. So every list is with this image, lamp.gif, right? So cross browser solution, the following example display the image marker equally in all the browser. So you can give list style type. Uh, none padding zero pixel margin zero pixel li background image you can use this your lamp background repeat no repeat background positions padding okay well so You can use UL and LI for UL set the list style type to none to remove the list item marker set both padding and margin to zero pixel for browse, uh, cross browser compatibility so spacing and all will be equal throughout the browser right for LI set the URL of the image and show it only once no repeat so position the image where you want it left zero pixel and down five pixel Position that takes in the list with padding left. So we can specify all these size and positions. So that is a cross browser solution actually. In all the browser, it will have the same time type. Sorthand, as I just now explained, that you just say list style. Don't say list style type or list style image. So if you say list style, you can say square and URL. So in this case, if this image doesn't support, okay, this will come right. So it's possible to spy all the list property in one single property. This is called sort and property, right? The sort and property used for list is a list style property, right? So we understood list style type, list style image, and list style, right? If you want some position, we can say list style positions. And we can spy the positions according to that, the image will be on that position. Okay. So we understood this one. Right. And these are the values which we can pass to list style type. Now, there's a one concept like inside and outside right if you can see here we are having position inside outside what is that here look at it now if we just say inside here so there's a little difference of inside so you can see outside if you're putting outside there will be a difference between this marker and the text but if you say inside, it will be near to this only, right? So see the difference between inside and outside here, right? Now, come back to here and we get it here. So we are saying a square inside. So there's a less space between the content and the marker which we have, right? The list style sort and property sets all the list properties in one declaration. The properties that can be set are list style type, list style position, and list style image. That is the order, right? 
so just give a type means some square circle and and positions inside outside and the image right if one of the values ever were missing this style circle inside the default value for missing property will be inserted so circle inside will be the default value and support is there throughout the browsers right and uh, this i explained to you so these are the stuff with the list and we understood the css with list right so that's all about understanding of list